What's up, what's happening, what's going on, folks, and welcome to another episode of the Fish, Fish and Chips, Chips Movie Reviews. Reviews. I'm Matt Fish Fiscioni. And I'm Sam Chips Cohen. And welcome to the movie talk show where we dig deep into the movies that we've already seen before. Uh, we will give you our full review on the movies, and then later we will keep you up to date on some of the upcoming movies that will be released. So thank you all for joining for our next episode. So we've had a lot, and I mean a lot of movie trailers that just came out for this entire for this entire week. Definitely. And a lot of them have been, you know, Dumbo. There's been Toy Story Four. But I think the one that I will probably say, Matt, has been very uh, unique and very interesting to go see has probably been uh, Pokemon Detective uh, Pikachu. Yeah. To me, this trailer has to be one of the most talked about trailers that I've ever seen before. Um, and for those that you don't know. Uh, Pokemon Detective Pikachu is about this uh, this Pokemon trainer. His name is Tim, um, who hasn't done Pokemon training in a little while. Um, and he met Detective Pikachu, who's actually voiced by Ryan Reynolds. Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. And so they meet up together and they actually do a little uh, solving as they figure out the disappearance of Tim's father, who is also a d detective as well. Because if you want to find your pops, I'm your best bet. We're going to do this, you and me. And so when I saw the trailer, Sam, I would have to say that the most bizarre part would have to be Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu. To me, it, it was a very bizarre choice having him to voice Pikachu, but in the same way, it, it kind of makes sense. Honestly, what I think to me is that like the fact that uh, Ryan Reynolds can be Pikachu is kind of bizarre, as you can say, but I also do think that it's probably going to be the one uh, actor who could probably play him, and honestly, it's going to be, in my opinion, spoofed and probably parodied off of uh, the next Deadpool movie, if they were to make another Deadpool movie. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Uh, you can hear him, right? Pika Pika! Yeah! Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. And I think what a lot of people are also going is that the Pokemon are now furries. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that. I can understand why people can have a problem with that because, you know, no, because I'm seeing Pokemon as furries is... Weird, but then again, look at them as if they were, uh, what is it, S like completely skinned, and that was their basic, like, skin. It would look weird, so I think, like, looking at it, it doesn't look that bad, so it's, I don't know, I'm very interested to go to see this. I, yeah. I had a very big uh, Pokemon childhood. I've collected the cards, played the games, watched the TV shows, even seen the movies. I'm very into Pokemon, so this is going to be, I'd probably say something I'm very interested to see. But then weirdly, like, is this really going to be good? Mm -hmm. Now, I think you might actually start judging me on this, but as a kid, I haven't actually seen as much Pikachu. The only thing that I've done <laughs> that's related to Pikachu was to have two Game Boy games and having some cards. But other than that, I really don't have enough experience with Pikachu. Um, but after seeing the trailer, it does look really interesting. I feel like in some aspects that some of the special effects aren't done, so probably that's why people are saying that the Pokemon is actually a little bit too furry. Um, you know, as me not being a huge Pokemon fan, I would actually get out of my way and, you know, and to go see it. So, I'm yeah. definitely going to go see it. And I hope if you're really into seeing something that's maybe going to make you uh, feel very interested to go see and maybe want to go see, I would probably suggest and we're all going to go try to go see Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Yeah. So, Sam, a couple months ago, you and I actually saw a movie together, and I, and I was actually I was actually very surprised that you didn't like this movie. So, it wasn't actually that I didn't like it, it was that I wasn't scared enough. And this movie that I'm not, I wasn't scared about was The Nun. So, The Nun is basically a movie about a novitate, which is a, a nun in training, and a priest who are being sent to an abbey, which, has, which is abandoned in Romania, mm -hmm. as they get deeper and deeper into the Abbey, into the investigation, it starts to get more troubling for them. And the spirit that they encounter is a Valak, I believe. Mm -hmm. And it's disguised itself as a nun. 
And it's it's a it's just a movie that comes out of the Conjuring series, mm -hmm. and I didn't really have a problem with this movie. It, I mean, it could be a good movie. I think what it was is that I just wasn't scared. Like a lot of with a lot of movies, you want to be getting that like that feeling of like, whoo, there you are. Like it just is out there and makes you go, oh my god, that came out and now I'm scared. But really, mm -hmm. I just knew when the jump scares were coming, and it just was really really awkward to see i was kind of that kind of person in that movie theater who would just go there it is that's there that is the jump scare and it just comes in and go i, I told you so Sister, please. That's all. hello there were probably a couple that made me uh scared but other than that really it didn't so yeah. did it make you any scared? So it's actually very funny because me, myself, being a huge horror movie fan, um, going into this movie, I was actually very excited because um, when I saw the second Conjuring, I was very interested in the nun character. Um, I feel like at the end, I feel like she wasn't there enough, so I really, I really wanted more of her. So for her to have her own movie, I was very excited for it. But um, after leaving the theater, um, I was kind of left disappointed. Uh, I felt like there were one or two scares where I kind of like, you know, popped up. But, but overall, like you said, uh, most of the scares were kind of planted in the most predictable way possible. Um, I would like to see her back in the future and maybe, maybe she can get some sort of comeback. Um, but for me, not only as a horror movie fan, but also a fan of the Conjuring series um, in general, um, it was it was honestly a big letdown for me. And what would you actually give this uh, this rating of a movie? Of so like one to so 10? for those reasons that I just gave out, I'm gonna give this movie a three out of ten. I might actually go a little bit over and probably go for a four. I think it's it's there for a horror film, but just not for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean, I I will enjoy a good horror film, but yeah. like, it has to like really make me go, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So. So, th so don't take our word for it, but take yours instead. If you are a huge horror movie fan and the Conjuring series in general, you should go out there and you should check out The Nun for yourself. So before we want to end our episode, there is something that we want to talk about today. And for those of you Marvel and comic book fans out there, you know exactly um, what we're going to be talking about. Um, we lost someone this past Monday afternoon. Uh, someone who many considered a legend. His name is uh, Stan Lee. He passed away at the age of 95. And like I said before, the news broke out on Monday afternoon. Um, and it came to a complete shock to all of us as the former Marvel creator is no longer with us. Um, it's actually very interesting because when I was a kid, I used to watch the 90s animated series of Spider-Man. I used to watch a lot of Sammy Relic's um, Spider-Man two, ser uh, two series, um, the actual movie itself with uh, Dr. Octopus. I used to own all the action figures and having Spider-Man in my life alone kind of resembles how Stan Lee has given all of us hope um, and so many memories of believing in these characters and like kind of um, believing in them in general and how in the future he kind of just brought them all to life, you know, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So for that, I thank you, Stanley, for that. Uh, thank you for bringing me Spider-Man, and thank you for being a huge part of my childhood. So. I'd probably say the exact same thing. I, I had a really big, uh, what is it? I had a very big impact with Spider-Man. He's probably still is and will always be my favorite uh, comic book Marvel character. Um, I've watched like every single Spider-Man film from the Tobey Maguire ser series. I even saw Spider-Man Free in theaters. Mm -hmm. That came out probably when I was. That came out around my birthday, mm -hmm. around that time. So it's. So a lot of Stan Lee's movies have really been. Very and had a very big impact on my childhood. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very hard to see that he's gone, but under, but understanding that the age that he left, it really is that I don't want to feel bad, feel sad. I kind of want to kind of feel that you know he left something for us to feel happy about so i wouldn't grieve i wouldn't i wouldn't grieve but i would just go up to him and tell him thank you you've given me one heck of a childhood and i don't think 
myself or Matt or any other person who has had a childhood with Marvel would feel the same. Yeah. So I think for me, I would say to myself, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Stanley. Yeah, well said. Um, and thank you, Stanley, for giving all of us uh, the memories, the laughs, and the cries, and the numerous cameos that you've made. Uh, you've you you are truly something else, and there will be another Stanley. So thank you very much. Um, and on that note, we are out of time, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matt, and I'm Sam. And tune in for our next episode of the Fish, Fish and, and Chips, Chips Movie Reviews. Reviews. And as always, for everyone watching, Excelsior. Excelsior.